Hey guys, this is Lamont and Tony over here at Big Dolls Performance. And what you're looking at right here is a set of small block Ford AFR 165 cylinder heads. These heads have been staged to ported by us. Um, the part number on these heads are the 1402s, if you can see it right there, 1402. And they are customer cylinder heads. They were sent in to us to receive our stage two porting. The customer did not opt for the head resurfacing or a valve spring upgrade, so we just set everything up um, to run in a general application. These heads received a full porting on the intake, the exhaust ports, combustion chambers okay um, they flow pretty well so these heads they flowed when we got them in they flowed okay you now for these heads these these heads flow pretty pretty decent for what they are um, but we got them to perform a lot better um, we profile the chambers to make them a little bit more efficient and also to uh, unshroud the valves. These particular cylinder heads, they have a 1.90, 1.60 um, valve arrangement and full aluminum, you know, they're decent casting, real nice thick casting. Um, they had the guide plates on them already. We didn't do anything with the guide plates. And we set these cylinder heads up for 145 on the seat, 145 pounds on the seat. Okay, um, they can handle a decent amount of lift. And after we ported these heads, they, I believe, they're flowing like in the 263 CFM range on the intake and on the exhaust. I think they topped out at about I want to say 218 but we'll go ahead and show the um, flow sheet because we did before and after on these and we used a 4 I believe it's a 460 460 bore 4.06 inch bore and they flow pretty well so we had a couple of individuals on YouTube that um, they commented in the comment section asking about you know what can we do with these particular cylinder heads now we poured a lot of these cylinder heads and we also sell the AFR um, 165 stage 2 ported now I want you guys to understand anything that we sell as far as cylinder heads and intake manifolds they are going to be ported we do not sell stock out the box parts we port and modify everything that we sell. So that's something that makes us unique from a lot of other, you know, companies um, because we don't give you out the box parts. We modify, you know, the parts to make them perform a lot better. That way, when you receive parts from us, you know, they've been worked over and they're flowing a lot better than what you would have normally received from the out the box part. So these cylinder heads, people, you know, when they often rate cylinder heads, and we've said this before in other videos, when they rate cylinder heads, they often look at the cylinder heads peak flow numbers. They'll say, well, what is the peak flow numbers? What is the flow numbers at 600,000 or so 650,000 or so whatever? And, you know, that's not a good way to judge a cylinder heads you know flow ability um, we had a customer we have plenty of customers but this particular customer he had a set of our stage 2 ported GT40 piece okay and he you know, had a most car and they performed very very well okay very well but I can't remember what kind of cam he had but I think he had I want to say he had a, a N41 um, I believe I know it was an Anderson cam I think it was an N41 but he had the peas on there. He it ran very, very well um, with our stage two peas. 
and um, he had those on there for about I want to say maybe a year and a half, two years. So uh, he was looking for some upgrades, and he wanted to purchase a set of cylinder heads from us, but he wanted some out the box cylinder heads. Okay, I, I believe he went with the 165s, either the 165s or the Trick Flow 170s. I believe it was the AFR 165s. And we told him and said, yeah, we can, you know, get you those, but they'll be ported. We don't sell them out the box. So he wanted it out the box. You know, he, he didn't want to pay a little extra, you know, for the stage two ported 165s. So he got them out the box. And um, he took off the piece and he actually sold the piece. I think he sold them on eBay or whatever. They went really, really fast, you know, because this is all... After he did all of this, he's, you know, telling us the, the story. Um, so he put the out the box 165s on there. And the car didn't go any faster. So he thought he did something wrong. So he, you know, he messaged back and you know, we, we went through everything and everything was the same. And, you know, uh, the car didn't go any faster car had basically the same mile per hour and the same ET um, and he was wondering why he said you know I thought I put the better cylinder heads on the guys on the forum was telling me all oh, the aluminum cylinder heads are going to be you know much better than you know the GT40Ps or whatever and I said we tried to tell you <laughs> you know our, our, our porting on these on the P's is very very good you know and you you have to understand you can't rate a cylinder head on peak flow alone I said what our P's lack in peak flow it makes up with average flow you know on the intake and exhaust it makes up with average flow so you know a camshaft goes through various lifts until it reaches its peak, but it's at its peak lift for, you know, a micro of a second. The meat of, you know, where a camshaft is going to be is, you know, usually below 500,000 inch. So that's what we focus in on. And when we port our cylinder heads, you know, we often ask the customer what kind of camshaft they're, they're going to be running, you know, um, application and so on, because that lets us know how to port and modify your cylinder heads for your application. Um, some cylinder heads, you know, depending on the application, may not get a 30 degree um, back cut on the exhaust. Um, it may only get a 30 degree back cut on the intake and vice versa. And then you got some cylinder heads, you know, applications may get a 30 degree back cut on both intake and exhaust and you know you do that for we do that you know for applications that may be flow limited you know and that helps the scavenging at higher rpm so it's a lot of things that we do um to the cylinder heads for different applications that we don't necessarily you know tell people <laughs> We just tell you, you're going to make a lot more power than what you did before. So don't worry about, you know, the details. You don't go to McDonald's and ask them, you know, what they put in their secret sauce. You just know that that secret sauce tastes, tastes very well. So these cylinder heads right here, they have great um, low and mid lift flow. And the upper lift flow is, is actually well, very well. Um... We have a set of the CNC ported AFRs in here from a customer also, and Lamont flowed those, and um, the stage two ported actually flowed better than the CNC ported, you know, um, AFRs um, that we have in here. Flowed on the same bench using the same fixtures, 
flow the same way. So it's an apples and apples comparison. And that's to be expected. You know, we often get cylinder heads in here, some you know, 11R, some, you know, CNC 205s, 225s. They're already CNC ported. And they send them to us because, you know, we improve on, you know, the various manufacturers CNC program. OK. Um, and we tailor port to your, your combo. So we'll go ahead and show you the before and after flow sheet right now. So here is the flow sheet for these um, cylinder heads. Um, you have the before results to your left and the after uh, to your right. Now, they were, they were flowed the exact same way and we used the same radius fixture. It was, it was a fixed radius. Um, our fixed radius um, that we use with the different cylinder heads often may not be the best radius to achieve the maximum flow for that particular cylinder head. Um, and we've made videos showing, you know, the difference between a our fixed radius versus a dedicated clay radius. We don't like to use pretty much the clay radiuses because often um, it's hard to repeat the shape. Okay, so we used a fixed radius. So both of these was fixed radius, the same radius. And as you see, um, it was a pretty good gain from our stage two porting. So that's what you get with the stage two. Um, this cylinder head um, only received the third degree back cut on the intakes only. We didn't third degree back cut the exhaust because uh, we hit it with our four angle valve job with our own angles. And as you see the low lift at 200, um, 300 thousandths of an inch uh, on the after results, you're looking at 122, 166 from this cylinder here, which is excellent. Same thing on the intake um, on the after flow. You're looking at, you know, 146 and 205. That is excellent. At 400, you're 242. So that is excellent flow. That's getting that airflow, you know, air and fuel in that that chamber, you know, very, very, very early, which is going to give you great horsepower, great low end, and it's gonna stretch the horsepower RPM range out, even with using a, a uh, low lift cam. So there you guys have it. This is the stage two AFR 165. See you guys at the track.